Hello and welcome to Feathercast. Today I'm speaking with Serge Huber, who is a member of the You Know Me project. And this project has been at Apache as a top level project for just a little bit over a year. And so folks are not terribly familiar with it, but we have this opportunity today to tell you about it, tell, it, tell us what it does. And thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. Let's start with telling us what this project does. I was, I was reading the, the website and um, I've read a number of your board reports over the years, of course, but uh, this is an open source <laughs> customer data platform. Tell us what that means. How is this used in the real world? Yeah, so the idea was really just to collect uh, information about uh, people that are coming to a website or using a mobile application. And you want to learn about them over time and basically build a profile and stuff. And uh, so the idea was really, I mean, now there's a standard called the Customer Data Platform Specification, which is built at Oasis. And you know me is the reference implementation of that standard. And the idea also to do this, doing this at Apache is, this is potentially personal stuff. And there's a lot of issues with privacy, uh, legal requirements and stuff. And so the idea was to do this at Apache because it's the perfect way to do this in a completely transparent and completely open way. Now, I noticed that your, your uh, project respects GDPR and mm -hmm. other such guidelines. Is there some sort of certification around that to, to confirm that it does support those correctly? Unfortunately not, because with the JDPR, it has to be the whole implemented system that has to respect it. So as you know, me is just a piece of a usually deployed system. Uh, you cannot uh, certify like pieces of a, a system. It has to be the whole final solution that's deployed. No, uh, but the thing is that uh, you know me was, to my knowledge, the first uh, software system to implement the legal requirements of JDPR even before the date uh, that they came into effect. So uh, that was a big win for open source, I think. You recently released uh, version 1.5. That's right. Uh, what, what happened in that version? What have you added? <laughs> yeah, so a lot of big foundational things. Uh, the major change was uh, the back end is Elasticsearch. And we were on Elasticsearch 5, and we bumped the support to version 7. And at that, actually, because of uh, what happened in Elasticsearch, we had to basically change the data model completely uh, because uh, Elasticsearch had that requ requirement. That was one of the things. And we had the uh, Docker and cloud improvements, uh, mm -hmm. better compatibility with those types of deployments. Uh, JDK 11 support also was added. And uh, we have some initial p uh, pieces of Kafka support. Uh, we want to do more, uh, but that was really like putting things in place. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of other minor changes, but those are the major ones. Now you say you want to do more. So what does that mean? What's coming in the next version? Well, we have a big version coming up, uh, which we want to get 1.5 out the door so we could focus on uh, 2.0. And uh, 2.0 will be the one that will implement the final version of the spec because the initial version of the specification was a REST API, and the new one is a GraphQL API. And so the big work is actually bringing in um, the GraphQL technology. And to do that, uh, there's new contributors that have actually already done this. And we have just merged a pull request of over 200 classes that provides that. So that's a huge win from a community point of view also yeah. because these are newcomers to the project. Now your project is still fairly small. Looks like you got about uh, 12 committers right now. If, mm -hmm. if somebody wants to join your project, what, what skills do they need to have? What sort of, what sort of talents are you looking for? Well, um, right now, I would say that like a lot of projects, we are looking for people that are really good at communicating, especially in terms of uh, documentation, because we're really focused on growing the community right now. The idea is that it should be as simple as possible to understand what the project is and get started and so forth. And so a lot of the efforts are done on uh, the documentation, the website, and so things like that. Uh, and of course, we're also looking for people with uh, Java development skills. That always helps. Um, 
but yeah, right now, uh, if we can have more people helping out with those efforts, that would be fantastic. And of course, people um, integrating the project into their own solutions, which also helps a lot to uh, make the project more visible and uh, attractive. So that leads me to another question. Um, if, if I want to implement You Know Me on my own website, Mm -hmm. Do I have to be using some Java framework for hosting my website, or can I use it on, on any platform? Well, for example, now with the Docker support, you could just, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that with the 1.5, uh, we released the first official Docker image at the Apache Docker uh, repository. Uh, so that makes it really easy for people to just use the image and get started. And uh, so, yeah, you could just use, for example, the Docker image, and that's all you need. You just put some JavaScript on your website, and you're up and running. And you can start having some reporting done. You can start doing building personalizations and things like that. The idea is really that it should be very straightforward to integrate and use. Where do people need to go to, uh, to talk with you to find out more? I usually hang out in the Apache uh, Slack uh, in the Unomi you know channel. Um, but of course, I'm always in the uh, mailing list, also the dev and uh, users mailing list. And I monitor the JIRA. Uh, now, one thing I would request is we've had some users using pull requests to ask questions. Uh, please refrain from doing that, because <laughs> that is not the best way to communicate. I'm always wondering if there's they're going around some kind of issue. Um, if there are things like, for example, uh, they're trying to open the tickets and they don't know how and things like that. So, uh, but this has happened a couple of times. <laughs> it's a bit confusing for everyone. Well, I would just say that um, I think it's a project that has a lot of potential, provided that it's understood by the community. Uh, one of the things that's really surprising and to me, at least, is uh, I was just preparing the board report, and I looked at the amount of people in the Slack channel, and there was over 65 members, wow. and that's more that's more than some established, I mean, long established project projects at Apache. So what it means is that there seems to be a bigger community than what I'm aware of right now. Mm -hmm. So making sure that that community is active and sort of that people participate is something that I really want to, to focus on and, and trying to, to grow. Um, and uh, but yeah, because I do believe that people are starting to really get it, understand what mm -hmm. the project is about and how they can use it. And um, hopefully it will help a lot of people. So that's really the objective. So check out youknowme.apache.org and join us in the Slack channel and uh, come join the project. Thank you very Thank you. much, Serge. <laughs> Thank you, Rich.